Here's a quick demo of the maze generator program I wrote. So by default, when you launch it, it creates and solves a 25 by 25 maze. If you don't want to see the solution, you could turn that off. So let's create a new one that's 100 by 100. So you could pan around using the mouse, or if you want to, you can use the scroll bars. There's a bunch of different view options you can choose. You can view round caps or square caps. There's a bunch of preset styles you can choose from. If you want to create your own style, you can directly set things like the distance between walls or the wall thickness or the solution th thickness. So let's go back to a preset style. So it can save mazes and it can open mazes. So let's open an 8192 by 8192 maze. And as you can see, the GUI is still responsive while it's doing that because it's all multi-threaded. So here, we'll turn the maze off and we'll zoom out. We'll use the shortcuts just so it's faster. So you can see what the solution looks like at a very high level, zoomed way out. So you can switch back to the normal zoom. And the solver is multi-threaded, so let's create one that's 6,000 by 6,000. It tells you how much memory is required, so let's create this and we'll switch over to the resource monitor. So you'll be able to see it's using a little bit more memory and right now it's generating the maze so it's using a single core and then you can see once it starts solving it it'll use multiple cores so there's a little setup work it has to do on a single core and then once that setup work is done all the cores will light up and it'll peg them all at 100 percent and then there's a little tiny bit of work that it needs to do in single core mode at the end and there you have it so so we could even open up a very very large maze so this one is 32,768 by 32,768 so that's why it's taken a while to open so, but the GUI is still very responsive. Let's set it to default style. We'll turn on anti-aliasing and uh, let's mess around with the wall thickness. So let's make it 16 and we'll set this to 48. So, so there you go. You can see it has over 1 billion cells in it and over 1 billion walls. And the solution length is half a million. So it can handle it really well. Um, there's also the tiny style, which draws the maze very, very tiny. And just to show you how responsive it is, you can drag it around really fast. Um, even if it's on like a full HD screen, you can do that. So. That's about it. Um, there's, for debug purposes, I allow you to highlight a cell. So you can put a little yellow dot. So let's say you want to highlight, you know, cell 100,000. It'll automatically scroll to that position and put a little yellow marker there. If you want to disable it, just do negative one. So that's helpful if you're debugging something. And that's about it. There's even a menu item that'll let you print the mazes out. And you can even print them out very, very tiny and it'll still be sharp.